What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. My name is Nayar and this is a channel all about men's lifestyle, self-improvement, dating, becoming confident and becoming 1% better each day to reach your ultimate goals in life, man. And in today's video, bro, I wanted to talk about six rules of dating that every man should be following by the age of 22. This video is tailored towards everybody you know post college once they're really starting to get into the dating scene well, the first thing the first rule of dating that you know i wrote down that every man should follow by the age of 22 is you know you got to stop putting so much pressure on yourself in your 20s man when it comes to dating stop putting so much pressure on yourself when it comes to dating in your 20s to preface this this first rule is more so meant for the guys like in their early to mid 20s man there's just so much uncertainty right with the other aspects of your life just you know your career your finances your living situation you know a lot of people still living with their parents so stop putting so much pressure on yourself in terms of settling down man you know everyone's still story is kind of different just because one person is married or in a serious relationship with a girl in their early to mid 20s doesn't mean that you know you have to be everybody's path is a little bit different but for most people man I think really your early to mid 20s you know stop putting so much pressure on yourself in terms of settling down because you just have so much other aspects of life going on I don't think dating should be the number one priority in your early 20s man it should not be a little bit further kind of down the list now getting on to the second rule man that everybody should be following is it is okay to be conservative with your money i just see so many guys like on the very first date even like taking them out to like a nice steakhouse or like a nice dinner spot it's like why bro you know this is the first date your main goal is just trying to get to break the ice and knowing each other you could literally do that over like a walk in the park or like a nice brunch or going on a hike or doing a fun activity or grabbing a coffee going for a walk in the city chill out when it comes to first dates man it's okay to be conservative now i'm not saying you know don't pay for your first dates or the first couple dates i think the first couple dates the man should be paying but at the same time you know use your common sense you don't need to take her to these fancy dinner restaurants every day there's a lot more fun stuff you could be doing on these first couple dates man instead of just breaking the bank going on boring dinner dates so the third rule man when it comes to dating is you need to be able to vet and filter now when it comes to dating it's like you want to actually make sure this is a person that you're compatible with right have a similar lifestyle to a person you can get along with right as a person that has good habits you know like vet and filter see like what type of girl this person is being able to like see this girl's lifestyle for what it is so Definitely being able to vet and filter is the third rule that every man should be following when it comes to dating. Now going on to rule number four, man, is stop trying to be somebody you are not. This is the problem with like a lot of this red pill advice. It's like, you know, masculinity this, masculinity that. Again, I'm not saying you should be crying, bawling your eyes out for all of your problems to the girl, but if you walk through this relationship as like an emotionless robot, the girl's not gonna find you fun to be around you know it's okay to laugh it's okay to open up bro stop being like this fake masculine dude you can't go through this relationship as like an emotionless robot the girl is just not gonna find you to be like a fun pleasant dude to be around man so really stop trying to portray yourself as this fake dude i'm not saying again you should be crying to the girl bitching about all your problems to her i'm not saying that I'm just saying, if you're going through this relationship as just super like alpha this, alpha that, confident this, displaying fake elements of confidence, always so like, always so serious, right? You know, never showing any type of emotion, not even being able to like laugh with the girl or like actually give a shit about her, right? Really, you know, stop being like an emotionless robot. Stop trying to be this super like alpha masculine male because at the end of the day, she's going to see through that persona, bro. She's going to see through that persona. Now, the fifth rule of dating that every man should realize and follow is 
hookup culture is going to lead you ultimately down a dark path. Hookup culture is going to lead you down a dark path. Hookup culture, it's really, it's just going to leave you with emptiness. In the grand scheme of things, when it comes to dating, the whole purpose, man, is, you know, to find somebody that you're compatible with, right? That's the whole purpose, you know, not only just attraction, but somebody that shares the similar values, someone you're compatible with. If you go through, you know, all of your life, just hookup culture, hookup culture, you're going to be so lonely at the end of it. You're just going to wake up just with a sense of emptiness, a sense of no accomplishment. Stop, you know, stop engaging in hookup culture with, you know, every single girl that you find the least a bit of attractiveness to. It's just going to lead you down a dark path to just overall emptiness, bro. So the sixth and final rule that you should be following, man, is stop getting hooked so easily stop getting hooked so easily when it comes to dating in general the thing is man you know you need to stop investing so much time into just one girl you know don't put all your marbles into just one girl you know i think a good rule of thumb is you have to date the girl for at least three months if you guys if she's a girl that you've been dating for three months right that's good that means you know you've probably at that point in time you've gotten to know her pretty decently well you might have met you know her family her friends at that point in time you know at that point in time you can kind of cut off all those other options the, all those other girls and then focus on more exclusiveness with that girl right it's always good to have a couple options and rotate around have like kind of a rotation of girls you're dating for that first couple months because if you put all your marbles into one basket so early on man you know you're just you're shooting yourself in the foot man you know you just n always need to have kind of a rotation of girls you're dating it's never good to put all your eggs in one basket because if something does happen right you know dating is complicated right you don't know you know when something potentially wrong could go wrong Whereas, you know, if you already have that pool of like two or three other girls that you're also dating, right? Then you have all those other options. And so many guys, they get invested so early on, just after like a month or two of dating. It's like, no, bro, those first, you know, three to four months, man, have a rotation, be dating multiple girls and really vet them out, see which ones are more compatible. And if there's a girl that you've consistently, you know, ha have been dating, gotten to know well, during those you know three to four months and she fits your lifestyle then yeah you know three to four months she's been consistent you've been going on consistent dates with her not really any issues then yeah you can talk about exclusivity being exclusive but really you know just during those first couple months man have a rotation going have a rotation of girls going two three or four girls you're dating at the same time for those first you know couple months is way better than just putting all your eggs in one basket anyways guys that is it for today's video these are the six rules about dating that every man should follow and realize by the time they hit the age of 22 as always be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out